I want my people to see what's there. We're very curious to know what is in those collections. Many things have been lost to us. Many things have been forgotten. Montreal-based Mohawk artist Skawinati is heading to the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. on a fellowship, something only 16 people globally have been selected for. She creates virtual artwork on Indigenous culture and will be able to use her research to create more. I get to go into this museum, this institution that has an incredible collection of artifacts of Indian, indigenous artifacts and I get to look at those and see what they have there and I get to learn about them and I get to therefore learn more about my own culture by doing that. Sego Sewaguego. Hi everyone. I'm Skawanati talking to you via my avatar. Skawanati has been creating futuristic artwork like avatars in cyberspace since 1997. It's, it looks very digital. It looks like a video game. Her characters are Indigenous people set in the future, something she says was important for her to do. We are always depicted in the past or we're, you know, we're, we're shown wearing, you know, buckskin and beads and feathers, which is great and beautiful. And actually many people are reviving those traditions and I think that's awesome. But I think uh, we are never depicted in the future. We've been so busy just surviving and resisting. But her work doesn't only look ahead with its avant-garde look. She also looks at history, the research she hopes to conduct at the world's largest museum and research complex stems from the origins of the indigenous ribbon shirt. A ribbon shirt is a traditional a part of our traditional regalia and many indigenous people wear it, but the Iroquois are, you know, are my people and I know about us. Uh, and so, but I don't know where it first came from. And so I'm very interested to know where, where it came from. And I think what I think it, by knowing that I can do is I can tell a story about it. So I'm very interested. I, what I mostly do is tell stories. Something she's continued to do throughout the pandemic, which has delayed her departure to the Smithsonian, still unsure of when she may begin. I'm very happy to be going there. I feel an honor, but I also think uh, there's a responsibility and I also think other people, it really matters to us. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News. You can now take part in the 16th edition of the Montreal International Black Film Festival virtually, showcasing 120 films from 30